Texas Governor Greg Abbott standing by his state's efforts to crack down on illegal immigration, but now he is facing pushback, not just from the Biden administration, but also from Mexico. Let's bring in Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez. His district is right on the border. Congressman, uh, SB4, which is the bill which would make it illegal for somebody to cross over the border into Texas uh, without going through a port of entry, he is tied up in the courts right now. Fifth Circuit, Sir, Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals heard arguments on it yesterday. It'll render a decision at some point. What are you hearing in your district about this issue? We, we have had enough, and we are grateful for Governor Abbott to do everything he can to try to get this border crisis under control. Look, lo local law enforcement, don't, they don't want to be enforcing immigration law, but nobody else is. It's very clear President Biden is, is, is shackling the hands of Border Patrol agents. Border Patrol agents, they want to be back out in the field. They want to be doing their job, but the facts are they're not, and somebody has to fill that gap. And until the federal government starts doing its job, Job, we welcome local law enforcement and Texas doing everything they can to keep us safe. So Mexico has said that even if SB4 goes into effect, it will not accept migrants who were sent back across the border because that's one of the provisions of the bill. I, I can't imagine Mexican officials saying that during the Trump administration. This is where President Biden has failed all Americans. And here he is putting Texas in a bad spot and putting Mexico in a bad spot. If, if Joe Biden would just do his job, then this would be solved. But he's not. And it's forcing basically Texas and Mexico to have this rough relationship. We are, we're very close trade partners. We're neighbors. We have a, a working relationship. But here's the deal. Texans have had enough. We're done with this. Just a few hours ago in mm -hmm. El Paso, in my district, there were, you know, uh, dozens of people come entering the country illegally and nothing happens. There has to be repercussions for somebody's actions. Sending them back to Mexico is step one. Speaking of people who enter the country illegally and nothing happens, I don't know if you saw it, but there was this study done by Syracuse University which tracked the number of deportation cases that were thrown out by immigration judges. 200,000. And the reason they were thrown out was because DHS did not file the required notice to appear in a timely fashion. A lot of people are saying, what the? John, this is pure madness. This is, this is exactly what the administration wants. They want these open borders. They want this to occur. They want to have these people come over into the country illegally. And in the meantime, Americans are being put last in this equation. You're doing all the things right. You're, you're paying your taxes. You're following the laws. And somehow you're in the back of the line. It doesn't make any sense. It's why so many people are angry. And we've had enough with Joe Biden's <clears throat> lies. Uh, something else that, that has become a little bit of pop culture here. It's received millions of views on TikTok, and it's this illegal immigrant saying he's come up with a great business plan, and that is to start squatting in houses and is encouraging everyone else who crosses the border illegally to do it. Listen to what he said. My people, I have thought about invading a house in the United States because I learned there's a law that says if a house is not inhabited, we can expropriate it. I think that will be my next business, invade abandoned houses. So what's next, Congressman? Are we going to see illegal migrants finding empty houses that may be people's vacation properties and, and saying, oh, it's empty, we're moving in? You know what, John? The sad truth is it is already happening, and it's been happening. In Eagle Pass, let's talk about Eagle Pass. A lot of abandoned houses or, or empty houses are being used for smugglers, and they know where these houses are. I did a ride-along with local uh, law enforcement there, and they're showing me all these different stash houses, so it doesn't surprise me at all. We have to take hold. It, it, today, it's in Eagle Pass. Tomorrow, it's in your city and your state. There is no end to this border crisis. Whatever it touches, it turns to ash. It's why we have to deport people by the thousands, not by the dozens. Well, uh, unlikely that's going to happen anytime soon. Congressman Gonzalez, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, John. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.